In this video, we will focus on the light curves of the GRBs and how we can extract the data from our input and how we can plot the data uh, using the Python. So let's first open up our RM fit. And let's load the lookup files. Now lookup files you will remember from a previous video in which we saw how we can constrain the GPM data in light and energy uh, in time and energy domain. So now we have the NAI detectors and the BGO detector loaded up here N6, N7, N9 and B1. Let's display that. Now in order to um, export the data that uh, we need for the light curve production we go to miscellaneous and then we export the ASCII data. We will save that. Close this one. Load the next one. Export ASCII data. Save that close it and so on for all the other GBM detectors same for BGO save that and now we'll close the RM fit okay so far so good now we have the fit files the lookup files and the dat file that we just extracted one other file that I have kept here is the GTSRC probe file from the lat um, light likelihood analysis the next thing that we will do is we will take a look at the python script we will walk through the python files one by one the functions and what they do and how it is done so these are the two uh, main python files that have all the python code in it there is still one uh, file that we need to create uh, but we will see it as we go so these are the two files that uh, contain the code uh, to read and to plot the light curve uh, from these dat files as well as this fit, fits file uh, so let's have a look at them this is the lightcurves.py it contains the function light curve data it requires four inputs dat file uh, the file that is that we just extracted from rmfit these one then we need an energy low uh, the low energy point from where we want to draw the light curve and the energy high from where up to what energy level we want to draw the light curve and then errors if we want the um, if we want to get the errors uh, with the data what we mean by error is that if we look up the dat file here uh, let it load okay so this is the event or grb name this is the telescope uh, glass observatory uh, its previous name for fermi telescope instrument gbm detector bgo data type tte and trigger time the trigger time for the event and this is the number of channels we know that the tte file is 128 energy uh, has a 128 energy channels and 5209 time pins so we have 5209 time pins within the 128 energy channels in this data these are the lower and upper bounds for the energy channels for the BGO detectors it starts from uh, 104 keV and ends up at 50,000 keV now the data above is um, descriptive and preliminary we don't need that what we want is the data starting from here you can see that the first column is for T start starting time for the time bin the T end and then we have the rate for channel 1 counts per second then we have error on that then we have background for channel 1 then then we have error on that background so on and so forth channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and so on so what I mean uh, by errors here is that if uh, we will give an option true here what it will do is it will not only uh, record these the rate and the background but it will also record the error of the rate and the error on the backgrounds as well now this is the part where we read the data and if we have specified the errors option it reads the data rate error and the data background error as well similarly if uh, we have the error option specified it outputs differently 
it outputs the time interval, uh, the day, the data rate, that are the background, and then the errors as well. Now let's look at the other make light curve file. Now this is uh, a make light curve um, function. It plots the data. So here we import our light curve function from the previous file, and the variables required for this para, uh, for this uh, function to work are the source name, the GRB name, the mat time, the trigger time that we discussed, starting time from where we want to start the light curve, the stop time for up to where we end want to end the light curve. We need a detector list. Uh, like we see here, we have the N6, N9, and uh, N6, N7, and N9 as the NAI detectors. So what we'll do here is we will pass the list on of the NAI detectors here. Then we will pass the list of the BGO detectors here, and then we will pass the list of the LAT um, GTSRC probe file here. So in this function, we have defined uh, the energy ranges. Uh, to be 10 to 50 kV, 10 kV to 50 kV is the one range, 50 kV to 900 kV is another range for any detectors and then for the BGO detectors we go from 250 kV to 40,000 mEV. From here we read the LAD uh, FITS file, then we sort all the data, then we separate the LAD photons in less than 1 GeV and greater than 1 GeV. Then we separate those photons into less than um, 0 0.9 probability and greater than 0 0.9 probability because these are two different um, photons. Then here we start the plotting. This is the plot for the NAI detectors and then this is the plot, uh, this is the fun part of function where we plot the LAT data. And at the end, instead of saving the file, we return the figure and the axis uh, components of the figure. Uh, there is a reason to that we will discuss in a bit later so these are only two functions now what we need to do is we need to define or we need to create a file that will actually read these functions and then it will plot the um, light curves so let's open up our spider Okay, we are now in our spider IDE. So um, let's import some libraries and also import the light curve function. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to read the NAI files. Let's sort these files, files. Similarly, we want to read the BGO files. And let's sort the BGO files as well. And now let's read the LAT file. Oops. Let's check the files. NAI. We have N6, N7, and N9. Similarly, we should have a B1 file, and then we have the LAT file. Now, one thing you uh, have noticed here is that I have not kept the LAT file as list. That is because if we go back to the make light curve function, the function needs a detector list for NAI, detector list for BGO, but it does not require a list for the LAT file. 
because there can be two BGO detectors but there cannot be uh, two LAT files. Now one important thing here is that function requires only the detector list. It does not require that file list because it appends the dot dat extension on in, as, uh, in itself. So we need to get rid of this dot dat extension. Similarly, okay, that should do it. Let's check these files again. Oops. So we are now set. What we need now, uh, if you go back here, is we need the source name, we need the met time, we need start time, and we need the stop time. Start and stop time are where you want to draw the boundaries of the light curve. The mat time is the trigger time for the GRB and the source name is obviously the source name of the uh, GRB. So for this particular GRB we know that the source name is um, GRB 120709A. We will do the standard T90 duration light curve. Um, so for that we have the T start as negative 0.128 and T stop as 27.2. Now it is not necessary to de define these uh, to the T90 duration, you can use any, any time duration here, it will uh, automatically adapt. Now we want the mat time as well, oh sorry, trigger time, trigger time. So for that we go back here in the dot dat file and we copy the trigger time, uh, whoops. Now we are set for the main function to you to be used. So let's do that. Make light curve. So it requires us the source name. We have that. It requires the mat time. We have that. The start starting time. Stopping time. List of NAI detectors. List of BGO detectors and the LAT file. So let's um, okay. One thing that I also talked about is that it returns the figure and axis uh, component. So let's get them as well. And now let's run the code. So this is the light curve for GIP 120709. Um, we have the 10 to 50 kV NAI range. We have 50 to 90, 250 to 40 MeV, 100 MeV to 1 GeV, and 1 GeV greater than 1 GeV. Now something to note here is that this is the particular um, hollow photon that we, that I talked previously. That this is the photon that does not has the probability greater than 0 0.9 for belonging to this particular GRB. So we have decorated that separately. Now why we return the figure and axis um, components, if you want, let's say we want the y axis on this plot, the zeroth plot here, we want it to be higher so we do not obstruct the detector name here. So what we can do here is we can We can change the y limit from here. Similarly, for the other uh, subplot, oh, we should have increased that. And for the figure, we can do we can save the file 09a light curve. So this is this will be all for this video. Um, we have extracted the data necessary to draw the light curve using RFID. Then we saw the two function files that we need to uh, use to plot the light curve using Python here. And then we also saw how we can uh, at the end if there is some uh, abnormality in the plot we can use the figure and axis of com subcomponent returned by the function to manipulate the existing um, plot. Let's get rid of that. And we can see we have the light curve or light curve is plotted here. 
so we can now safely close this as well so this will be it for this video thank you for watching